The Daily Quirk sat down with David Lasher and Todd Tanley's sister at the Tribeca Film Festival, and we're bringing you the exclusive interview. David, Todd, so tell me a little bit about the film Sister. Uh, Sister is about an uh, 11 year old kid who uh, was adopted and put on uh, a cocktail of uh, anti ADHD and different disorders uh, medication at a young age. And when her father is suddenly killed and her mother is hospitalized uh, with a manic episode, mm -hmm. there's no one in the world to take care of her except her. 30 year old brother who's an out of work actor living in Los Angeles who barely knows her and wants nothing to do with her. Um, and these two are kind of thrust together uh, and seemingly going to destroy each other and they kind of end up saving each other. Now, where did the inspiration for writing this film come about? I know you both co wrote it. Well, I mean, it's loosely based on David's not life as much as family dynamics and personal experiences. Mm -hmm. So, we've been writing together for a while. And he said, you know, I've always wanted to write something about, you know, God forbid, whether something happened mm -hmm. to my parents or what happened to my adopted sister. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really know that much about the story. And, it, you know, again, it happened very organically, and we started talking about it and outlining it, and it was something that we always planned to do this way. You know, as opposed to other projects that we were working on that we, you know, television shows and movies to sell, we always knew that this would be a very mm -hmm. personal movie that we'd make independently. And it's a, it's a work of fiction. We have to turn it into <laughs> a, a narrative. <laughs> no, no, it's based on different yeah. ideas and things that yeah. we were inspired yeah. by. Um, but, you know, when you're going to go out and make a movie yourself, mm -hmm. I, I think you, you want it to, we wanted it to be something we were, it was really personal and that we were really passionate about this story. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of work making a film. <laughs> you might know. as well be something that you yeah. it's close to home. Yeah, <laughs> really, truly. Well. Like, you know, that's the best advice. David can give people from his own experience, like yeah. so much work, so much time, so much effort that if you're if you're passionate about something and you're connected to it, it makes it all worth it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine going through this to make <laughs> movie. something yeah. you didn't about, believe in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah. Like you had written the character for Billy for yourself with you in mind. Yeah. Is that correct? Now, what was it like to cast that then, looking for someone? It was <laughs> difficult looking to someone for someone to play you, and uh, you're not me. Get out! <laughs> right? No, I was. I would be giving the actors line readings in the audition, like, "No, do it like this," yeah. or you know, you gotta have some empathy underneath the edginess. And mm -hmm. it was just uh, really, it was hard. And I kept saying to Todd, I'm, "I might have to do it. I might have to do it <laughs> if we don't if we yeah. don't find someone that I think right. Uh, yeah. is right." Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's a specific, a, a specific character who's, mm -hmm. who's very stuck and frustrated in his own life, and he's got a real edge, and he's abrasive, but you got to love him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's got to have that thing. And so Reed auditioned, and then uh, we had dinner uh, just to sort of get to know each other. Um, he really responded to the material, mm -hmm. and we just clicked. I was like, you're the guy, you know? <laughs> you know, you know it's sometimes when you meet the right actor and you just know it, it just uh, takes care of itself, you know. And what was the directing process like? So now you found him, and you're on set. How how were the how was it to direct someone that you knew what you wanted and get them to bring something new to the table too, though, as well? I mean, he brought so much of, of his his own idea, so much of his own ideas. Mm -hmm. But we were just it was a great collaboration. I mean, he was there was no uh, there was a lot of trust. So I could say anything to him and vice versa. And uh, he just gave me the character and the performance that I always, that we had, had written, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it was just a great experience. We had 20 days to shoot. Everybody showed up with their best work. I mean, it's so professional, working hard. I mean, our cast was amazing. Amazing. Great chemistry. You know, it's, it's, the casting process is very challenging for any film. But when you're doing a small film with a first-time director, it's even that much more challenging. And you do, you're telling a personal story. Yeah. You know, we're not making an action movie, or you know, we're making a very personal human story. You need actors who, a, are you know willing to sign up for that, mm -hmm. and b, who you know can bring their own humanity, their own experiences to it. And then you hope that these individuals all come together to form you know chemistry and believability that they're a family. That 
together, you know, and I mean, that was, to me, the most incredible part of the whole process, watching David work with these actors and watching, you know, I, I get to, you know, sit back and watch our words come to life, and just every, I mean, truly every actor elevated their role, like, you know, every supporting actor, you know, people that, in the, you know, in the script, they're like, ah, oh, you know, that will give us more credit. <laughs> Everyone, top to bottom, just brought so much to it. Yeah. And they were great together. It's a real ensemble piece in a lot of ways. And the film deals with some pretty, you know, heavy issues, mental illness, misdiagnosis, but it has a really uplifting message that I've read now. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, in this one story, uh, <clears throat> this child was misdiagnosed. Her brother uh, had been diagnosed with these disorders when he was a kid and put on medications and sort of yanked himself off of them. And now he sees his little sister going through the same thing and, you know, he doesn't do it very responsibly and, you know, we don't, it's not a preachy documentary. This is one story. Um, but Billy clashes with the psychiatrist taking care of her name, played by John Hurd, mm -hmm. who is set in his ways and very adamant that this child has been diagnosed and her brain chemi chemistry is, is such that she needs these medications and there are millions of children thriving on these medications and who are you to take them off? And in the end, Billy's only answer to him is, I know her better than you do. I don't know what else to tell you. She doesn't need these. And they hit a lot of bumps in the road but if there's a message to this one story, it's take a closer look when diagnosing a child with a disorder, and especially before medicating them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not every story is the same, but no, you know, no. just jump right in. Yeah, there, there, are, there are children that, and their families have carefully evaluated and exhausted all the options, mm -hmm. and, and they are medication is the right treatment. Um, but I think there's a lot of cases where it uh, has been done too hastily without the, the you know, careful evaluation. Now, more of a fun question, was there a particular scene that was really memorable to film or a special day on set that was just really, <laughs> any horror stories from? <laughs> well, luckily, no horror stories. <laughs> and, uh, we shot some late nights. It was, it was, everyone got really kind of giddy. The, the, yeah, <laughs> the two guys, played by Skylar Stone and Adam Shapiro, in the hot tub with Little uh -oh. eleven year old Grace. Grace said that was her favorite scene. <laughs> oh, she did. I mean, <laughs> it's a great scene. It, the, the stuff we shot in the house was fun because we were in a very comfortable yeah. right, <laughs> setting, was and, and, <laughs> and it was so much of the movie took place there. Mm -hmm. And it, we wrote, we actually wrote the screenplay at that house to a large degree. Yeah, it's from my brother in law's house. house, around the corner from my house yeah. in the Hollywood Hills. So like. The dressing, you know, Barbara Hershey was changing in my daughter's bedroom, yeah. and it was, it was like that, yeah. you know. It's like, is this happening? But, <laughs> yeah. but, but so here we are writing the script, mm -hmm. like sitting outside where they sit in the movie, and yeah. we're like, okay, so we're like literally blocking the scenes as we're writing, like, okay, so we'll see the camera, we'll see, mm -hmm. you know, Billy here and his wife leaving back there, and so you watch the movie, yeah. and the house is a character, so that That's to me so was, real. I mean, that, that probably those scenes are the most. Yeah, the house Wild was, for me was to watch. a lot of fun. Everybody just, you know, running back and forth from my house where base camp was. <laughs> you know, that, that was where lunch was. Yeah, I mean, it was a family affair. Yeah. But, you know, that type of filmmaking is very inspiring, you know, and everyone's in it together. There's no, you know, big trailers. Yeah. Special effects. <laughs> you know, hundreds of crew. The house and some people. Yeah. yeah. It's, and, right. it's very relatable. And finally, okay. what is it like having the film shown here at Tribeca? How has that been? Aside from the weather. <laughs> oh, well, let's okay. go tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. Honestly, I mean, it's it really, as he just said, it's a dream mm -hmm. to be, you know, being from New York. Yeah, it's New our York. hometown. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thoughtful, uh, you know, sometimes uncomfortable film, and mm -hmm. I think the New York audience is the perfect place to get it and to premiere it. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's such a nice festival, because it's, oh, really, yeah. it's a real film festival. Yeah. You know, and it's a celebration of film. And this year, they've just great films, great filmmakers, great events. Everyone's been like incredibly supportive of our film. But we're a small film. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they've, everyone at Tribeca has been so amazingly supportive. I mean, we're thrilled to be. Yeah. Well, you guys are doing something wonderful, so. Thank you. Congratulations for Thank having you your so film much. here. Thank you for Thank taking you. the time to talk with us. Our pleasure.